Hello everybody. Welcome back to Sessions with Cat at night. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I'm extra all day. So here we are. We're going to record a different type of video tonight. There's no deck walkthroughs. So this is more of a tutorial. And uh, I'll get into that here in a second. Number one, there's a podcast coming. First Friday in November. Are you ready? Like, cause I got like lots of shit to talk about that I don't talk about on YouTube, but I feel like a podcast would serve it better. That way, you know, y'all can listen to me on the go. Y'all ain't got to be looking at no fucking video. Me flip through no goddamn cards, right? I love cards. Don't, don't get it twisted. But if you're like me, I listen to podcasts on the car, wherever I go. So it's kind of like that. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to discuss in the in the podcast, like, you know, certain sessions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, that's it. No other updates. Also, it's, it's nighttime. Who the fuck wants all those damn updates? Uh, so, <laughs> here we are. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how I kind of like work with my ancestors and guides when I'm doing those type of readings. And if you guys watched the review of this deck, then you know I recorded that one at night too because it is uh, more of an ancestral guide type of deck. Um, and... I get most of my answers right before bed. So that's why this is being recorded at night. And I'm gonna show you guys, it's kind of like a mock of the t what I use, like the different tools I use or like how I designate that. And different decks, um, there's no tarot decks here, I believe, which is surprising. They didn't tell me to grab one to show you guys, but you can use your tarot as well. Um, so you're gonna need some supplies, okay? You ain't got to do this with me, but if you want to, you know, pause the video after I tell you what supplies you need and then go, go get it and then come back. Okay. Um, you're going to need something to write with. Okay. I use three different colors. Now, if you know me, I live in color. Okay. I, I fucking love color. So I use three different colors. Okay. There's one color to write the question that I asked. If I ask a question, okay, there's one color to write what I heard or felt based on the card that came out. And then there's one color for my interpretation of what to do with that knowledge that came. Okay. So I use three different colors. You can do whatever system works for you, but this is what works for me. Okay. So you're going to need a pen or pens, um, to start. You're going to need your decks. Um, I typically have an ammo deck on hand. Okay. Um, this is one of the decks I use. Of course, this baby. This one. Um, I got a few more. Hold on. I'm not going to be showing all of them. I also use this one. Um, and then I got like. A few tarot decks that are designated just for ancestral spirit guide work for myself okay so you're gonna choose whatever deck or decks work for you it can be oracle tarot affirmations whatever it has to work for you okay this is just what works for me okay so you'll need that you'll also need one of these babies a notebook Okay, um, this is empty, okay, um, it's, a, it's like a brand new notebook, I keep these suckers on hand, okay, um, I bought a, like a pack of seven of these from Amazon, um, this is a brand new one because you should not be showing your, your messages meant for you to the world, right, that's how it was put to me, so, I'm not showing you my actual notebook. I'm showing you 
how to start yours, okay? So you'll need a notebook. I prefer lines, <laughs> just kind of keep shit straight. Um, I, my current notebook has no lines in it. So, and it can be used for mixed media. So that's the reason why that one's online, but I do prefer lines. So I have a ton of these that have lines in them and I love them. Um, use whatever works for you, okay? Um, I also like this because one, you can kind of like take out, add to, and kind of stuff shit in here and, you know, wrap it up real nice. It's kind of nice, okay? So you'll need that. So pause the video if you need to, go get your tools and bring your ass back, okay? And when you come back, press play and we'll get started. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep going anyway. So um, what I was going to do tonight, I'm just gonna kind of give you a mock of um, what I was going to do tonight because um, there's been some stuff surrounding a particular family, family member and I've kind of been put in charge of it. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how to wrap myself around it and kind of navigate it because it is family based and you know, I do have to look at the ancestral part of it and I need to know what type of work needs to be done, okay? So, First thing I start with is typically this deck. This is typically the first deck that I go to because this is um, in case any medicines need to be applied to the situation. Um, I choose kind of like a theme. The, this These feel more like a theme. So I'll write this down, right? So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm not going to do all that on camera because it's loud as fuck because y'all know how I shuffle. And truth be told, this family member does need this. Uh, so this would be my thing, right? This would kind of be like my focus, right? Um, to bring about balance, harmony, equality. That balance of body versus mind versus spirit, that kind of thing, which is actually needed. So this would kind of be like, hey, here's the, 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 the roots of what's going on. And I would write that down. Okay, date it. Always date your entries. You want to know, like, when shit occurred, when you got the message or whatever. Date it. Okay. Or whatever works for you, but you should be dating shit. So I start here. Okay. That's that's gonna be my first card. So I'm actually gonna keep that out because that is actually what I needed to to hear. Okay. Then I move on to animal medicine, okay? Um, if I can get the deck open. I'm not going to actually keep this deck. This one's going to go in a giveaway, so pay attention next month. <laughs> um, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. They told me middle, so I'm going to the middle. Oh, okay. Actually, I need this one and the middle one, so this is what I got, which is necessary. So I look at the animal medicine, and what that tells me is, is there anything, because my question is, um, is there anything outside of this person that's causing this disruption um, on kind of like a like in an attack type of way like you know how pe some people get like psychic attacks and stuff like that that's what I've been a I'm asking and this is my confirmation okay because this is all about mischief right this is telling me what I need to do to protect to, to protect from this Okay, so I'm grateful for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that, and we're gonna see it through. Um, so I'll take it, right? Um, so that's to start. So then I'll write that down. But I'll write down 
more on the animal medicine than I do the plant medicine. Uh, sorry for the camera shake because I'm hitting the table. Um, I'll write down more on the animal medicine than plant medicine. Here's why. The animals will tell me more than the plant. The plant's kind of like the, the solvent, the, the um, like what I can bring in. This is just the theme, right? This is just telling me like, hey, this is the roots of it. This is what needs to occur. This is your final outcome. This is telling me how to get to this. Does that, I hope that made sense. Um, so that's where I start, okay? So I'm keeping these out because I do actually fucking know. Now I move to this deck and I'm so grateful for this deck because it's given me, it's given me <laughs> more than, uh, more than what I, I, more than what I could dream of from this deck. Um, so I'll shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And one, I just got confirmation. That's where they told me to go to. So I went there. They told me to put in three stacks, okay? Uh, okay. I'll take that. That's interesting. However, so this is the last stack. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so this deck has been confirming my animals, right? But it's also, because you guys know I do Akashic Record work, right? It's telling me where I need to go inside of the Akashic Records to do the healing work. Now, I'm not going to say it on camera what I need to do and who this is for. So I'm trying to keep that as confidential as possible. But this is telling me how deep I have to go in that family line to kind of apply the medicine and bring about the proper healing and proper protection, right? Um, now, here's where it gets kind of rough if you're dealing with this type of situation, okay? Um, so... I don't have the same connection with this person as other family members do. So I am completely unbiased to this situation. However, I know that if I don't do anything, what how that will affect the other family members. So this is telling me what to do so that I can, one, help that person who needs it, but two, also kind of bring some balance back to the family order, if that makes sense. So this is telling me, it's confirmation of the animal medicine, but this is telling me where in the Akashic Records I need to go to resolve some things. And forgive the noise, okay, y'all? So I live on my own, <laughs> and my neighbors are, um, what's the word, fucking loud. So please forgive the noise. <laughs> Like, they be dropping shit, and I'm like, just don't drop it after I go to sleep, and I'm cool. So, just forgive the noise. It's still early in the night, but um, that's what that noise was, if you, any of you guys were wondering. But this is the Akashic Records part. So, this is where I have to go in, look at the past life work, look at the current life, and do the healing. Okay? That's where that comes in. All right? So... I'm grateful for this. Now, here's the tricky part. Because especially when I'm going, asking in regards to other people outside of myself, okay? I need answers for what lesson am I going to learn for myself, okay? Um, forgive me, I'm opening the last little deck here. Um, I need to know what I'm learning for myself out of it. Okay, like to some that might sound selfish, but truth be told, I need to know because I'm not getting anything, anything like tangible, right? I need to know what the lesson is for me. Like, give me a hint of the lesson so that I know how to fully take this experience in. And so I go to the sacred vision cards. Now, they're set up like the medicine wheel. Except for that's black. 
Um, and there's no green ones. <laughs> I wish there were some green ones in here. And I go and I find whatever um, image they tell me to find. Uh, this one, release. Which, <laughs> shaman, the song within, that's great. Cause you know, I am a shaman. I am also a shamanic practitioner. So um, th this part stood out to me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept this. And honestly, it's necessary. I'm not gonna lie to myself, it is necessary. Um, because I think that once this is, this whole process is done and over with, I can do that release. I can let go of any anything that's holding me back in regards to the person and or persons, okay? So now I got all my cards. I'm gonna go in here. Now, if it's a brand new notebook, let me like kind of go back a little bit. It's a brand new notebook, bless it, okay? Show it some love, rub some whatever oil you want to on the cover of it, smudge it, um, take a cedar, pine, rosemary, hell, um, sage with rose petals, anything you can use, even incense will work. You want to smudge it. You don't want anybody else's energy in your shit. Just gonna put that out there. And you'll wanna do the same with your writing utensils, okay? Before you write in a new notebook, okay? And then going forward, those writing utensils that you chose should be the only ones used inside of the notebook. Now, should it run out of ink, you just go and re-bless a new set, okay? Um, plain and simple. But that's what that's how that should work. So you'll go in here and you'll start with your your outcome root card. This is what you this is what I'm trying to come about, right? Um and you'll write that down. Okay, you can write whatever notes you feel you need to on it. I don't typically because it's kind of like plain and simple to me. But it it's not like that for everybody, and I don't expect it to be. So if you need to write extra notes, write your fucking notes, okay? Then, if you use animal cards, go in and write this. This is where I'll start taking notes, right? Whatever I pick up from this, whatever I pick up from the keywords or whatever, like whatever stands out to me, I start making all those notes, okay? This is typically where I go and like I'll make the notes, but this is also where I write my game plan, right? And your game plan will come from whatever deck tells you what action is needed. This is the deck that told me, these are the cards from the deck that told me what action was needed. So my little game plan leads into these cards, okay? This is also, once I started writing on these cards, is usually where I start um, writing out any salves or anything like that. Uh, forgive me, y'all. The AC unit outside the outside my window just turned on, so I'll try to talk louder. <laughs> um, I'll write out any salves or teas or smoke blends or whatever um, that I might need to use in like a a, a fire cleanse or a water cleanse. Uh, you might know it as like a ritual bath or anything like that. I write all of that down, okay? And once I finish all of that, I make a note of how long it's gonna take me. Usually they tell me how long I have to get this done, right? Um, God, they got sirens out and everything, god damn. Um, and then I move on from that. I can tell you right now, I usually end up using about two, three pages per reading okay once I get to the end of that then I go okay but what will I learn from this and that's where this card comes in and the release so 
when when I'm done recording this video, that's when I'm gonna go write my book. Um, the messages that I got from all of those cards, my plan of action, so on and so forth. It doesn't have to be any work that you're doing for someone else. I want you guys to know that. What you go to your ancestors for might not always be in regard to someone else. It might just be for you. So it's whatever you're going to them for, okay? Make sure you set the tone, right? Make sure you keep your safe, your, your space safe and protected. And you're not allowing any bullshit as ancestors and, and spirits inside your space. Because ain't nobody got time for that, okay? I always smudge my space before I begin. And then I say a prayer and I kind of like put a prayer bubble up. I mean a protection bubble up. Well, and I guess you can call it a prayer bubble. <laughs> Around the whole entire space. And then I go from there. Okay, um, but do what you need to do, but just make sure you have the proper tools that you feel you need in order to do these type of readings for yourself. I find this easier than trying to look at a card and then run to the book. Don't run to the book. Just take whatever pops off of that card. Take whatever calls to you and just allow your body to go, oh, that's that right? Allow your soul to go, nope, that's that. Or, you know, allow them to get into unison without running to a book to find whatever the answer is, if that makes sense. It, you know, if your cards have keywords on them, nine times out of ten, that keyword's going to give you exactly what you need. So you don't need the book. This is you just completely embracing your guides and ancestors on how to navigate something or whatever they feel you need to know in this moment, right? You don't always have to go with a question, just let, you know, the cards tell you, right? And you don't have to use as many decks as I do. I just use as many because um, for this situation, I need this many. I don't always use this many, okay? Nine times out of 10 is usually just one deck. Um, the most I've ever seen myself used was five. And that was pushing it for me because I was like, I don't need y'all could have just did this in one. But certain images spoke different languages and different um, messages. So I needed the five. So you don't always, you know, have to have that many decks, if that makes sense. So that's, that's that, y'all. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments or email me or send me a message on Instagram, or if you got my phone number, text me, you know. Um, this video is gonna go up uh, a day early because that's what my guides told me to do. Normally I post on Friday, so um, it's going up Thursday. <laughs> so you guys will see this video Thursday morning. I'm recording Wednesday night because that's what they told me to do. So get your supplies get ready for it you can you don't have to commune with your guides and ancestors at night i just do it this way because then they'll um take me on a journey while i'm sleeping and i can work the spirit realm while i'm you know doing that type of shamanic journey and then you know in my waking life and my <laughs> when i'm conscious uh i can do the other work if that makes sense so <sighs> that's that okay um stay hydrated make sure you guys are eating and um taking care of yourselves and i wish you all the brightest of blessings bye